A third round men's doubles, El Chauffe and John Fever playing against the former champions, seeded eight this year, Gottfried and Ramirez. And finally, a first round mixed doubles there. British pair concerned there, Jeremy Bates and Joe Dury against the number five seeds from Australia. Now, leading the way on number one court is the young lady who's the number two seed in these championships. There she is, Hannah Mandlikova, the 19-year-old Czech. And she today plays the number six seed from Australia, Wendy Turnbull. And this is a repeat of their final in the Australian Open last December when Miss Mandlikova won. And of course, since then, she's also won the French Open. So she's completed half of tennis's Grand Slam. And now to achieve it, she has to win here and then win the US Open. And that is the first match we should be watching here on BBC One. That's followed by a quarterfinal between the number one seed and former champion, Mrs. Lloyd, Chris Lloyd of the United States, playing the number 10 seed, Mima Yashevitz of Yugoslavia, who uh, caused a little stir in the top seedings here by putting out the number five seed, Andrea Yeager, on Saturday. And then a men's doubles, which is uh, held over from Saturday, the Amritraj brothers from India, playing the number six seeds, Marty Reeson and Sherwood Stewart, they're leading by two sets to love. And then, to finish on number one court, a mixed doubles. So, on number one court, Wendy Turnbull against Hannah Mandlikova, whose number two seeding before these championships started caused a great deal of controversy. There she is. But now taking her appointed place in the quarterfinals. She, of course, beat Britain's Anne Hobbs on Saturday. Well, our commentators on number one court, we have the 1977 ladies' champion here at Wimbledon, Virginia Wade, and she's with John Barrett. And uh, Hannah Mandlikova, nearest the camera, a tall, leggy girl who is absolutely formidable indeed when she's on her game. And the big question mark for today is, will there be any repetition of the back trouble that she sustained when winning her French Open title? Or are all those fears of injury now behind her? Certainly watching her closely during the course of the first week, she appeared to be feeling her way. We had her on BBC television when she beat Corinne Vanier of France, 6-3-7-5, and I thought then she was holding herself back a little bit, and it was slippery then, a little bit difficult underfoot, and uh, she came through nevertheless without any problems at all, and she's got better and better as the week has progressed. She's only 19, this girl, full of the sort of natural talent that one remembers in Maria Bueno, and to me, the most gifted player I've seen since then, except perhaps Yvonne Corley, who is the reigning champion here, of course, though because of an addition to her family not with us this year. Let's have a look at the rabbit, the little girl from Australia, Wendy Turnbull, born in Brisbane. She's 28 now, a very experienced campaigner who is seeded six here. And I suppose as far as the match today is concerned, the most important thing is that she's won the last two meetings they've had. And that'll be going on in the back of Hannah Mandlikova's mind if this match is at all close. She's just the sort of player that Mandlikova doesn't like. She scurries about the court, gets a lot of balls back, and can volley well too. With me today, of course, Virginia Wade, the winner here in 1977, who knows more about these two than most. Virginia, how do you see the outcome today? Well, two I think minutes, that uh, Hannah's minutes. definitely still having some trouble with her back, but I think that that's actually going to help her, because I think that uh, all this confusion over the seeding, she was seeded up higher than everybody thought, including herself probably, and I think that giving her this back injury has given her something to have an excuse about should she fall by the wayside. I think that Wendy is very much the most consistent of the top women players, but I have the feeling that uh, in a Wimbledon quarterfinal that uh, Hannah Mandikova is going to be the tougher player. You know, when she's nervous, the great thing about Hannah is that she comes out even stronger and tougher, which can overwhelm the opponent straight away. She never is tentative. Do you think, though, that there's any residue of that uh sort of nervousness, I suppose it must have been, that caused her several times last year to lose from winning situations. 
Well, it is amazing because I've watched her play so many times when she'll just be absolutely sensationally brilliant for a set and be 6-1, six, 6-love, six, 3-1 up. So I've one watched minute, her twice please. against one Tracy minute. Austin in that situation. And suddenly the great shots turn into nothing and she really goes from worse to worse. But I think that she's such a good player that she can afford to have that sort of weakness because just by the sheer merit of her game she's going to overcome that. And of course she has the knowledge of having beaten Wendy Turnbull in a very important title match, the Australian Open, at, right at the end of last year. And uh, if this match gets close, that's what she's got to try and start remembering, and not the loss that she sustained also on grass in Sydney just a week or so later. Of course, Wendy Turnbull, Virginia, has been around at the top of the women's game for the last uh, five or six years. She's so experienced. I think, you know, she's just the sort of person that might upset Time, her please. Mandic over today. Well, well being Australian, right she's absolutely at home on grass. And the interesting thing about Wendy's game is that she's so terrifically fast around the court. And yet you'll probably find that in her matches, most of the games, that most of the points that she wins are not won by winners. They won because she really doesn't make any mistakes and she forces her opponent into making a mistake. It's, it's, it's warmer set. today, it's sunny, and I think that uh, Hannah's shots will take. So, Wendy Turnbull to open this quarterfinal. Love 15. Of 30. Well, quite understandably, a slightly tense start by Wendy Turnbull. And I think uh, we're going to see both girls try to take the net position. Turnbull to keep Mandlikova away from her favourite spot. And Mandlikova because that is her natural way of playing. Fifteen forty. Well, now, can she convert one of these two break points to get a psychological advantage at the start of the match? A <laughs> little bit late, the call. 30, 40. reason to suppose though that that was an error or anything like it. Miss Mandikova. Miss Mandikova leads by one game to love. Well, of course, this girl, Virginia, has been 
outstanding at all stages of her career. She was an Orange Bowl under-16s champion. That's the world's greatest junior event in 77. And then uh, in 78, she was a runner-up to Austin in the junior Wimbledon title, but she won the French and Italian the same year and then was voted by the International Federation the junior world champion of that year. Not always, though, does great junior talent transmit itself to uh, progress as a senior. I think that, in fact, a lot of the games which are very good as juniors don't develop into the senior game, but uh, Hannah has a game which is Time often a slow developer, and in fact she's been very good. I remember watching her two and a half years ago in Australia and saying that this girl is going to win Wimbledon very soon. I mean, she has to. I mean, she has so much time. Is it too early to, to suggest it might be this year? Miss Manlikova to serve. She has a good chance. <laughs> Fifteen, love. <laughs> Thirty, love. Forty love. Well, tremendous serving so early. Game Miss Manlikova. Miss Manlikova leads two games to love. First set. Of course, that five foot eight inches does help the serve. Fifteen, love. Thirty, love. Well, it was much too short to serve. 30-15. Really a very simple pass winner. Thirty all. Well, I'm sure she's still a little bit tense in these early stages, but she won't panic. She's much too old a hand for that. Thirty forty. Terrible, perhaps, perhaps has more support than she realises because this match is going live to Channel 9 Australia. Mm -hmm. 
advantage, Miss Mandlikova. Certainly at the moment she needs all the support she can get. So important to be able to relax, to do oneself justice, and she hasn't done so yet. Okay, Miss Mandlikova. Miss Mandlikova leads by three games to love in the first set. Well, Wendy Turnbull, Virginia, really clearly is very, very nervous still. How do you throw off nerves at a time like this? Well, I think you have to physically make an effort to move more and to breathe deeply and to maybe take your time and really uh, just concentrate on the present moment. The trouble when you get nervous is that you panic and you tend to race around a little bit. I think that she's used to being uh, nervous when she plays. There's some players who play and want to be very, very relaxed and low-key, and there are other players who are sort of up, more uptight. And I think that Wendy is one of these players who likes to play on a high level of uh, tension. And so, I, I mean, I think I'm sure she doesn't want to be three love down, two service breaks down. But I don't think that it really scares her being down at the beginning of a match. Well, I was surprised at the way Mandlikova started so far. She's serving so well. Well, that's what I thought might well happen, because as I was saying, when she's nervous, she tends to go for it more. And uh, if they come in, then everything's going to be all right. Three love. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Oh. Forty love. Mandlikova. Of course, one of the things helping Mandlikova today, the court's playing a little Four faster. To love, Miss Mandlikova leads first set. It's definitely drying out as people play on it. I mean, this always happens with grass. And it's getting firmer, the ball bouncing a little bit higher and fast. Well, Turn will really get to dig herself into this match. Love for. Love thirty. Because she never gives you a chance to get settled into any rallies, Hannah. Hits the ball so hard. And even the luck's with her. Love 40. Well, yes, 15, the, 40. the chalk on the wrong line, of course. It would help if she could get a few good first serves in. 
Turkey, Turkey. Thirty, forty. <laughs> Only five foot three inches tall, not easy to serve consistently good fast first serves from that height. What a lead. Five love in just 14 minutes. Game to Miss Mandlikova. Five games to love. Miss Mandlikova leads first set. Well, I wonder how many people sitting around this court would have expected to see that score line against two players who have had such close matches in the past. 4-3, Mandlikova leads overall in just 14 minutes. Virginia, I really can't believe how well Mandlikova's playing. She's doing everything absolutely right, and I think the great strength with the game is that it's, her backhand is very deceptive. You really can't tell whether she's going down the line or cross-court, but it isn't really her strength. Her great strength is this forehand, which she hits very early and very fast and quite flat, and I think it scares the opponent. Here we're going to watch a slow motion of her service. You'll watch this good action. Her elbow stays up very Thank high you. all the time. And it's a very smooth, quick action and very flat hit, powerful. And she's in on her way into the net. And Hannah is serving at five love in the first set. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. And a second double fault. Not terribly serious, one might feel, at five love. Thirty fifteen. Well, she's going through an absolute nightmare at the moment. Nothing is going right. All her best shots are just missing. And that miss has given Hannah Mandikova two set points. Well, that is just the sort of thing that Hannah so often does. Miss apparently easy shots like that. But it is still set point. Game and first set. In just 17 minutes. Game and first set to Miss Mandlikova. Six games to love. Second set, Miss Turnbull to serve. Well, oh, Mandlikova hasn't lost a set at this year's Wimbledon yet. She did have a love set earlier in the third round against Andrea Buchanan. But really, that's hardly the same sort of opposition as today's. Love 15. Yes, it is. Well, that was just a, a sliver as she played the shot. Nothing to worry about. Love 13. <laughs> 15, 30. 
somehow she's got to find a way of digging herself into this match. No easy thing on grass when the games just go away so fast. Really, she's just got to hang in and hope that Mandlikova is going to go a little bit off the boil to allow herself to dig into this second set. Thirty forty. Mandlikova. Well, her second and third double faults. What a disaster for Wendy Turnbull. New ball, boys, please. Miss Mandlikova leads by one game to love in the second set and by one set to love. Well, really, this is something of a nightmare for Wendy Turnbull. And there's not, not very much she can do about it except hope that she can start to serve a bit better. Mm, I think she has to take a few chances. There's certainly a days when your side of the court feels gigantic and the other side minute, and she really is being passed in all directions. And uh, Hannah is not really having to even ex extend herself. I, I think Wendy has just got to take some big chances, especially on the serve, and, and, and get, she's not getting nearly close enough in after a serve. Well, really, when she's up against play of this sort, it's difficult to see what she can do. Now, the serve isn't really deep enough. That was the trouble to start with, and it gave Mandlikova plenty of time to find that angle. She's used that sort of return so cleverly today on several occasions, and look at the way she whips time, up the please. pass, knowing instinctively just how much topspin to put on the ball. She fell over without hurting herself, thank goodness, and without damaging her back further. But she is instinctive, the way she fades the wrist or rolls the wrist over just at the right time, just like Maria Bueno used to. A bad bounce. And really, love 15. That really is the first bit of luck that Wendy Turnbull has had today. thought she had another bit of luck when Mandlikova's drive was short enough to allow her in, but my goodness. 40-15. Well, Wendy only won nine points in that opening set. Game, Miss Mandlikova. <laughs> Two games to love, Miss Mandlikova leads the second set. I was surprised that uh, Hannah Mandlikova stayed back on the, her serve that game. It seems as at this stage of a match when you're winning so e easily, you should still stay right in, but she still managed to win the points. So Wendy's serving love two down. Yes. And again, tremendous racket control there at full stretch. Love 15. And that time, just putting a bit of backspin on the ball to control it.
15 all. Well, the crowd here will give Wendy Turnbull every encouragement. They love an underdog at Wimbledon. Thirty fifteen. Oh dear. Well, thirty all. It really was awful misjudgment. She was right on the ball, too. She could easily have made the volley. Well, believe it or not, this is the first game point she's had. 40-30. If she wins this game, you'll hear the loudest cheer. Okay. Advantage, Miss Turnbull. I suppose it was meant to be a drop shot, but it was not very well executed. So a second game point. <coughs> yes, if only her first serve was working, the whole of our game would pick up. It always does when you serve well. Juice. Miss Bandlikova. And that was one of Hannah's favourite shots, and I don't think Wendy's enjoying this at all. Deuce. This actually is the stage at which Hannah sometimes does come off the boil, and I think it's very important for her to stay playing tight tennis. A little bit of paper blowing about under the football judge's chair, that's all. Advantage, Miss Mandlikova. Time she's really looked as if she'd meant it. A 
Vantage, Miss Mandlikova. Again, that's one of Wendy's favorite shots, that slice approach shot, and she isn't finding the court at all with it today. Game played. Game to Miss Mandikova. Three games to love. Miss Mandikova leads in the second set and by one set to love. The winner of this match, of course, meets the winner of the match that's currently going on on the centre court between Virginia Rzic and Martina Navratilova. And Miss Navratilova has won the first set by six games to two, two service breaks, 23 minutes, and has held her serve in the opening game of the second set. Well, one can only have the greatest sympathy for this game battler, the rabbit, Wendy Turnbull from Australia. I remember her when she got to the final of the uh, uh, American Open, Virginia, and I thought some years ago that she was headed for really I'm quite pleased. a great career in the game. I think Wendy has done very well indeed, actually, in the last few years. She's, she doesn't win that many tournaments, but she is always one of the great contestants, and you'll find in her record that she has wins over all the top players. So Hannah Mandlikova is, has won nine games in a row. Three love in the second set. We're behind. Yes, again, there was... Behind the service line. Correct, the service line. Thirty love. Supremely relaxed, supremely confident. And what a gifted player. Forty love. Game is on the Just to rub it in. Game to Miss Mandikova. Four games to love. Miss Mandikova leads in the second set. That really was a perfect game that Hannah played. She did everything. She gave us practically a whole repertoire and four simple points and won them beautifully. Second service. Fifteen all. I'd really like to lift her, this number one court crowd. It'll take some doing now, I think.
15.30. Well, there seems to be some gremlin about number one court today. And I think it's a Czech gremlin because it's contained all that the Australian has attempted, neck cords. Fifteen forty. Game Miss Mandicova. Well, there seems to be no holding her now. Miss Mandicova leads by five games to love in the second set and by one set to love. I'm so surprised that on a grass court like this with a low bouncing ball that Wendy Turnbull is having such a terrible day because her strength has usually been to dig those backhand slices deep into the ground and they really don't bounce and it hasn't had any effect whatsoever. One of the things that uh, is difficult is that Hannah is very intimidating because you know that she just takes all her shots with a very short backswing and belts them and they really do scare you. And she is such a good athlete. In fact, her father was a, an Olympic runner in the uh, Olympics in, in Melbourne in 56, I believe. So we're going to see if uh, Hannah can serve this match out in the same form she's been playing. Wonderful players the Czechs have produced too. Martina Navratilova, the twice the champion here. And now this girl looks as like if she's going to be a, an outstanding successor. Five love. Love fifteen. Well, the last two really good approaches, both of them stretching her opponent. That's 30. 15, 30. And it looked as if she began to heed the advice of Virginia Wade and go for the ball a bit more. Well, now there's a rare thing for the Australian. Two break points to her in succession, something she hasn't had the luxury of throughout this match. And another line. Well, that, I suppose, just about sums it up. Advantage, Miss Mandlikova. Six love, five love. And advantage, Mandlikova, match point. Well played. News. Advantage, Miss Mandlikova. 
Well, extraordinary. Just now, the perfect forehand pass to save the match point. And now, a rather typical one of today's form to give a second match point. News. What a spectacular finish that would have been if that little backhand volley had dropped over. Advantage, Miss Mandikova. Match point number three. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> how many of the shirt-sleeved customers today basking in the sunshine expected to see that result six love six love in just 40 minutes game set and match to miss manlikova six love six love ladies and gentlemen could i have your attention well, I think that Hannah Mandikova really showed that she is capable of winning, uh, beating anybody and winning probably this tournament. She has a very tough match coming up next and what we expect for her opponent to be will be, uh, be uh, um, Martina Navratilova. So one expects a somewhat different story. However, I think that uh, she must be pleased. She looks pleased. She's in a hurry to get off the court and I think that Wendy will just have to forget that day. So. One not worth ever remembering again. Well, the next match on.